Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and like I said earlier, it is Hollywood Studios' birthday today, or as I like to call it, MGM Studios. It is still MGM Studios to me. It is the 30th anniversary of MGM Studios slash Hollywood Studios, and we are here. We're going to be here all day. It is going to be an absolutely jam-packed day. Uh, as you saw, you know, I said happy birthday earlier. We got commemorative park maps. We got some some buttons and it is just going to be a jam-packed day. There's already a lot of people here. People are getting set up for the for the parade that's going to be going on at 10 o'clock. There's just a lot happening. It's going to be a jam-packed day. Very busy day. So I can't wait to see what goes on later on today. Let's walk around some more, see what we got. They got the stage all set up and everything. This is where the anniversary show is going to happen. They're going to have a parade that comes down from Hollywood Boulevard all the way down over here to this stage. It's going to be interesting. All right, got myself all set up here. Uh, it's not a bad spot. It's uh, very, very close. And I am assuming that once the parade passes, once the cavalcade passes, they're going to let everyone move further up closer to the stage. So that's what I'm betting on right now. Uh, hopefully that is the case. Um, they have the media and everybody up on an elevated platform so they can get a better view. So I'm assuming that, you know, they would let everyone move forward more on the stage. Kind of like what they do when they do the March of the Forest Order. You know, they clear the streets, but once they get up there, everyone can kind of move up and just be kind of closer to the stage. So that's what I'm assuming is going to be going on. So once they get past there, they let everyone go. We're going to move further up and hopefully get a better view of the stage. By the way, the parade and the show is an hour and a half away. So we're going to be here a little while. That's right. We're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Disney.
Park. A park that will let guests of all ages live their adventure. I'd say that calls for a whole new logo. Minnie, Mickey, Faith, Mark, and Phil. Let's see if we can maybe whistle up a new logo. <laughs> Alright, so that last clip that you guys saw were a bunch of cast members doing a group photo. Those were all cast members that have been here for the last 30 years and they were here when the park opened 30 years ago, back when it was MGM Studios. So that was really cool. Some of the cast members are very recognizable, especially a couple of the Tower of Terror bellhops. They're, uh, they're very recognizable. They've, they've been all over the place, do promotional stuff and things like that. So that was really cool. That parade was... In, in insane in the fact that there was a lot going on. I wasn't expecting there to be like little performances here and there, especially from the Indiana Jones crew and things like that. There was just a lot going on in different filming that I wasn't expecting, but that was still really cool. That was still really cool. It was really cool to see all those different characters. It was, the cars were really cool and just seeing all of that stuff was absolutely insane. And like I said, like I predicted, they let everybody move up closer to the stage. So once that row came through, all bets were off. Everybody was just bum rushing over there. and. I hope the footage that I got was good enough for you guys. If not, then I'll put in a couple of clips from the actual Disney Parks blog uh, live stream that they did, and you'll be able to see some of that. But yeah, we have the rest of the day here at Hollywood Studios to explore and to, you know, just have fun and enjoy all this park has to offer. So we're gonna be here all day. We're gonna take a look at some of the merchandise earlier and take a look at some of the lines. So let's head on over into Toy Story Land and see if we can get some breakfast, because I'm starving. So the last time I ate something at Toy Story Land, it was breakfast service, and today we are here for lunch. I was gonna get breakfast, but it ended at 10.30, and I walked in line at 10.45. Just missed it, so sad. But anyways, we are trying the potato barrel tachos. This is the lunch tachos. It's got, of course, your tater tots, some cheese, some sauce. It looks like it's got a little bit of chili on it, some chives, and some sour cream, and some Fritos. It looks like it's got Frito chips in there. Yeah, there's a little Fritos. Super excited to try this. It looks really good. I also got the uh, the punch with it. I forgot what the punch is called. The Mystic Punch. I'm gonna try that as well. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything in one bite. That's really good. That is actually really, really good. I like the Fritos. The Fritos adds a little, a little extra flavor to it that you're not really expecting. But overall, really, really good. Let me try some of the punch. Not bad. I don't know what to compare it to. I don't exactly, I can't put it, what it tastes like. But the punch is really, really good. I don't know. I wish I had more ways to describe the punch. I don't know what to compare it to. But it's like a, it, it's like a green fruitish punch type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, but it's good. I highly recommend both of these. So it's safe to say that I am full. That Those potato barrels, the tachos, were very, very filling. And I'm, I'm sitting there eating, you know, I'm scrolling through my My Disney experience, and I was looking at my Fast Passes. I have a Tower of Terror Fast Pass at 12.45. Granted, it's 11, so that's you know, almost two hours away, but still, like, I'm feeling very full now. If I was riding, if I was riding Tower of Terror right now, I wouldn't, there's, there's absolutely no way. I'm just, like, feeling very, very full. But, we are gonna continue walking through the park right now. I think I'm gonna hit up Walt Disney Presents, because they're doing a preview of Aladdin in there, and I'm very much so looking forward to that movie. It's gonna be interesting. So, I wanna go see that preview, relax for a little bit, sit down, let my 
tachos, um, digested stuff a little bit, and then we'll make our way over to the opposite end of the park because I hear that there is a long line for merchandise for today. And if I don't get merchandise today, that's totally fine. What happened with the Epcot, 30th and, uh, Epcot 35th anniversary is that they had these really long lines for merchandise. And what happens, a few days later, they put all the merchandise out on the Shop Disney Parks website. So I was able to order my shirts and everything without having to wait in that long line. So I'm hoping that that is the case today. If I go back later on in the day and there's not really much of a line, then I'll go back. Um, Nine times out of 10, they'll have the three X shirts available that I want because not everyone here is as big as I am. So we'll see, we'll fingers crossed, hoping for that. We have our, we have the marching band coming up behind me, the green army men. But yeah, I am super excited. Today is just gonna be an all around very fun day, very crowded day. But yeah, let's go relax inside some AC. Let's go check out this Aladdin preview, shall we? Take a look at Jasmine's dress. This is super pretty. It's really weird, the camera makes a different color than what it is in real life. The camera looks more pink, but in real life it's more purple. I don't know, that's so weird. The camera makes it look a different color. I swear to God, it's purple. So, just got out of the preview for Aladdin and I'm way more excited for this movie. I'm very much so excited for this movie. Look at me, I look like a raccoon right now with the shadow. Anyways, I am super excited for this movie. Um, they showed us like a good five minutes or so of the movie and they showed us part of the beginning where, um, I forget what the song is called, where he's being chased by the guards and he's running through the streets. They changed the lyrics a little bit, which I like. It's not a beat for beat you know, remake of the original as far as the song is concerned. And there's a bunch of different elements that they added in. They showed us a little bit of the genie and Will Smith and how how he is. And I'm super excited. I don't know why people are giving the genie so much, so much, you know, crap about, you know, the way he looks and everything. It looks awesome. I, I was laughing during this, during this preview. So I am super excited for this movie. It comes out on the 24th of May. So we'll be, we'll be sure to uh, go and check it out when it comes out. So we have made our way down to Grand Avenue here at Hollywood Studios. The entrance to Star Wars Land is right back there. And this right here behind me, where if I can find it, right there is the lady that is holding the sign for event merchandise. So of all the 30th anniversary merchandise that they're selling today, look at my hair, it's going all crazy. Uh, all the event that they're, all the stuff that they're selling for the 30th anniversary, the line starts right here. We're gonna go on down and see exactly where the store is and try and guesstimate how long the line is for the merchandise. So the line starts right over here. Comes down over here, swings, bobs and weaves all in and out over here, goes all the way back down there, and comes in right over here. And then it comes back some more. It looks like the line disconnects. Like the line comes right over here, stops. You have the entrance to Muppet Vision, which you can just walk right in, but they just let people go all willy-nilly in between. So they'll send people from over here, just group them over there, and then the line continues. So let's keep going. There's even more. Holy cow. The line goes all the way the heck down there. All the way down. Circles back around. Comes back over here. It's still going. You can see the tape on the ground from where they switch in people back and forth. It goes back down there all the way again. Come down here out by Pizza Rizzo, which is closed. Uh, it's seasonal right now. And the main merchandise is in here. In the old Muppet Vision gift shop, they have all the 30th anniversary merchandise over here. 
That is absolutely insane. You take a quick look on the inside. You can see some of the 30th anniversary t-shirts over here. Zoom in. They also have some uh, pass holder exclusive 30th anniversary t-shirts. All the 30th anniversary merchandise. They got Tervis tumblers in there. And hats. Look, little, little lanyard clips. Some other, some other paintings and stuff. But yeah, there is a lot going on in this store. Really cool. Maybe we'll get in there later. So it is going on noon right now here at Hollywood Studios. And I just spoke to one of the cast members and they're estimating the wait time just to get inside the 30th anniversary gift shop to be about two hours long. Two hours long just to get inside the shop. That doesn't include time to look around and see what you want and to buy all the merchandise. So just for the merchandise, two hours long. That is insane. So yeah, we're definitely either gonna come back later or just hope that they put some of this stuff on the Disney Parks shop online like they did with uh, Epcot 35th. So, two hours, yeah, not my cup of tea. We'll be back later and see about getting in there later on. With more flights to more destinations, why not take your tours with Star Tours? Convenient daily departures. Star Tours is not responsible for lost or destroyed luggage, missed flights, disruptions, and service caused by period entanglements, meteor showers, asteroid belts, or black holes. These are the toys may vary. Hyperspace travel and cat droids not available on all flights. We're excited to change the database. Have a nice flight. Star Tours, 1401, you are cleared for departure. 1401, that's us. We can't take off. The captain isn't on board. Auto takeoff sequence initiating. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't seem to understand. I am not the captain. I am C3PO. 1401, clear for takeoff. Contact departure on frequency 429. Wait, wait. R2D2, I am not programmed to fly these things. Now just turn us around this instant before we get into trouble. I knew it. Oh, shoot. Prepare to be boarded, Captain. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. I am seeing. We know you have this rebel spy. I've never seen that human before. Thank you. Have a go. No one has to make my call. I want that spy. Someone can get it. Do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the middle of summer in Florida. It is, it might as well have officially started. It is hot. It is very, very hot. So make sure to take advantage of the free ice water at any quick service location that you can see any kiosk that serves fountain beverage. They will give you a cup of ice water complimentary because it is hot. Take advantage of it. You know, it's been a hot minute since I've been to Hollywood Studios and I think the last time we were here we were commenting on how Disney's really pushing the snack merchandise, you know, the signature snacks that they have in the park and it's called the, <laughs> it's called Delish. <laughs> yeah, so fresh, it's their snack line, just all the merchandise you can think of for their signature snacks that you find in the park and they got everything and some of it's getting on the verge of like being a little ridiculous like look at this look at this like what are you going to put in this it's a ping pong paddle that doubles as a purse that's also a mickey premium bar like what are you going to put in this besides change and you're going to carry this around like hold on let me pull out my mickey ice cream bar for some change like, uh, okay, that's that's a thing. Let me put that back. We also have a churro pencil case or makeup bag or whatever you need it for, but this is a straight up churro. And they have like little magnets and stuff that are like cupcakes and they have their Mickey waffles, a bunch of t-shirts. They have pizza on a plate. 
It's not even edible. Don't judge me, I'm on vacation. I actually need that shirt. Uh, let's see, what else do they got? They have Dole Whip doormats, snack money, bunch of other magnets with some donuts, more waffles, Mickey premium bar magnets to put on your refrigerator, keychains, they have mini macaroon plushes, they also have premium bar plushes that are absolutely adorable. They have giant Mickey premium bar plushes. Good lord. Just beat someone over the head with this. Should buy this and hit Koda with it. I don't know, she'd probably enjoy it. If it was a taco, she'd enjoy getting hit with it. What is this? We got a, a cupcake, a mini, a mini cupcake. Like, look, what is the point of this? Why are you going to buy a giant cupcake and bring it home? Then again, if it was Koda and a giant taco, it'd be a different story. She'd buy 10. We got giant Dole Whips. This is interesting. I saw this and I'm like, what the heck? What, what are they doing with boxes of pizza? But you put this down and it's t-shirts. There's a bunch of t-shirts in here and they're served in pizza boxes. And the shirt says, keeping it cheesy. <laughs> I enjoy the pun. It is very, very cheesy. I would actually buy this shirt. I should, I should, I should buy this shirt. This one's actually in a medium, but the back of the boxes, they got the different sizes and everything, and it is $39.99. Maybe, maybe I don't need this shirt. I'm just gonna, just gonna put that $40, $40 pizza back. But yeah, that's what the shirt looks like when it's all out. Keeping it cheesy. You had me at pizza. They need to make that shirt that says you had me at tacos, and then I get that for Coda. They have a few other things, uh, popcorn, whatever. What is this supposed to be? Is this like legitimate printed art inside? Oh, so I, I, I honestly don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, it was another t-shirt. Okay, so it's like, a, it's, it's like another t-shirt, but yeah, they're packaging it in like food. And then look at this, pizza socks. Freaking pizza socks. And then they have other socks that look like uh, cupcakes and that is just weird. Disney's really pushing it. Just stopped inside the Trolley Car Cafe, aka the Starbucks, and one of the special items that they have for today only, I believe, is the Luxo Ball. It's a specialty dessert item that is only available today as far as I know. I'm sure we'll see it again eventually, but yeah, this is really cool. They have a bunch of these special items located throughout the park, and at the Trolley Car, you can get Luxo Ball. Does anyone else ride Tower of Terror and get the urge to look up while you're on the ride just seeing the elevator shaft as you go up and down? I don't know. It's just it just it's it's cool to me to see us going up and down that quickly. I don't know. It's just it's just my personal preference. I ride Tower of Terror, I look up. Hurry! The back ends! Hurry up! Stuck in a book. What a puzzle to the rest of us is bad. 
As incredibly thick as Gasol Oh yes, no one is burly and brawny As you see, I've got biceps to spare No one hits like Gasol, matches with like Gasol This is the funniest citizen of Hollywood competition live here on Sunset Boulevard <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have three competitors today The gorgeous Miss Evie Starlight <laughs> The stunning Mr. Winkwright Remain seated <laughs> And me, my name is Jack Diamond, local Hollywood talent agent. Welcome to today's competition. How's everybody doing today? Let me ask you a question. Uh, what do you do for a living? I uh, raise children. Oh, okay. What is an object you use in your line of work when you're raising children every day? A frying pan. A frying pan. Ah! <laughs> okay, let me see. We're gonna have to gonna have to child, call child services or something. Wow. Isn't it? <laughs> frying pan. With a, with a spatula right. or something, maybe a ruler, but no. <laughs> they should make fun of her. I'm scared of her. <laughs> I'll be your bodyguard. Oh, you go. oh, that's nice of you, sir. We appreciate that. Okay, frying pan. I'm uh, not on frying pans, came in with the bar and the bar table. So, not too many frying pans in here. You know what? You are the most attractive frying pans that have ever walked in here. I'm going to serve your handsome, your suave, your such good looking frying pans. And the frying pan said, Stop trying to butter us up. There you go. Woo! Unless you got that spray stuff. Okay, 99. This is kind of like a joke about Pam. It's okay. Butter. 99 <laughs> frying pans walk into a bar, and the bartender said, I'm sorry, we don't serve you frying pans in here. They said, that just burns us up. Oh. 99 cast iron skillet frying pans. Wow. In front of the cell. What? <laughs> <laughs> 99 footballs walked into the bar. That's very good. I mean, you know, I hope they covered the kids. We're going to have to explain it, and we're not paying they gotta attention. They got to learn sometime. <laughs> 99 footballs walked into the bar, and the bartender said, um, Oh, gee, remember, I'm not serving you footballs in here tonight. It's singles night, and there's 99 of you, and the football said, We're just here hoping to score! Uh, New England footballs walk into a bar. The bartender said, I'm sorry, we don't serve you New England footballs in here. So they left deflated. <laughs> All right, making our way back down Grand Avenue. We're going to check the line for the merchandise. And so far, it's gone. The line has diminished. It's pretty much gone. We're gonna go and check and see if there's any line at all to get inside the gift shop and see if we can get inside and buy some merch. Remember earlier today when all of this was full of people? People were just all the way back there and now they're all gone. I don't think there's any line to get inside the store anymore. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. You see, patience is a virtue. I didn't even need to wait two hours in that line. People waited two flipping hours for merchandise. Just walk in later on in the day. Nothing. No one. Look at that. All gone. Let's get some merch. All right, guys. So I just got out of the store. I bought the merchandise that I wanted to for the 30th anniversary, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they still have just about everything available. The only thing that they had sold out was the annual pass holder magic band for today. So no word yet on when that's coming back, but that is sold out for right now. 
Um, but yeah, let's head on inside the store and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what they got. Still got plenty of the shirts available. Don't let this little rack fool you. They're still in the middle of restocking, but they got a lot of shirts available. They have plenty of the shirts over here. And this is the design, the 30th anniversary logo, the 30 years of Hollywood Studios. They got plenty of hats. The 30th anniversary magic band, the 30 years. Look at that. Really cool. And they are sold out of the annual pass holder magic band, but as you can see, they still have plenty of regular magic bands. And then they have the Tervis tumblers. Really nice. Got a lot of the hats. And this is what surprised me the most is how much stock they have left. They still have so much. Even with all the crowds that they had this morning, they still have a lot of merchandise left. This is all the regular shirts. These are all the AP shirts. So that is really really cool and so well done i'm so happy that they still have so much of the merchandise left one of the cast members was actually telling me one of the manager cast members was telling me that they do plan on selling a lot of this stuff outside of today so it's not just a today exclusive they're going to be selling this stuff outside of today and they're going to you know move it through other parts of the park and possibly other parks as well so that's that's absolutely awesome. I was worried that it was just going to be for today only, but it's not. And they might even be having some of this stuff move over to the Shop Disney Parks app. So definitely keep an eye out for that as well. So yeah, plenty of merchandise left. You don't have to be here today in order to get this merchandise. The only merchandise that sold out was the annual Pats Holder Magic Band, but that's not a big deal. They still have plenty of stuff available. So come on down to Hollywood Studios and get your merch now. You know, this has been such a chill day here at Hollywood Studios. I am absolutely relaxed. I'm just going with it. Don't really have a plan for anything. All the mostly exciting stuff happened in the morning. I was just walking around and seeing what there is to do for today for the 30th and just enjoying myself and just enjoying what the park has to offer and making this park an all day park. One place that I particularly like to hang out if it's getting a little too hot, I want to escape, I want to get a drink, is Primetime 50s. Where is it? Primetime 50s, they have a bar here that you can go inside and just chill out. You can order anything off the menu, get a milkshake, grab some alcohol, and you can hang out in there. Really nice. I'm gonna head in there right now, see if I can grab myself a drink. We're gonna be hanging out in the Tune In Lounge. Of course, the bar is subject to availability. Uh, the bar's full. <laughs> Um, I'll hang out. I'll hang out for a little bit. See if anybody leaves. It's incredible how you spend just a little bit of time inside. You get used to the AC. Your body gets used to it. As soon as you walk outside, and boom, you're hit with just the wall of heat and humidity, and it just feels gross outside. Oh, that's Florida. God, I love it. <laughs> I'm so weird. I love it. You know, as I'm walking down Sunset Boulevard, 
it dawns on me that I haven't done Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy yet. I'm about to ride Rock and Roller Coaster, and as I turn the corner and I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that this was a thing. It opened up last month, so yeah, when I get done with Rock and Roller Coaster, which surprisingly is only a 30 minute wait right now, anyways, uh, when I get done with that, I'm gonna head over to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, experience that for the first time. Should be interesting, should be interesting. I heard some, I heard some mixed reviews for that, so we'll see, but first, we're gonna rock. The two bravest little girls you will ever see riding in the front row. Wow. So I was gonna get this picture, but the chick next to me decided to do a gang sign. Oh, uh, that's disappointing, but I do like the picture. Well, that was uh, pretty disappointing that the chick next to me threw up a gang sign. Thankfully, I wasn't like gonna purchase the picture. I was just gonna save it from my My Disney experience. But, um, you know, the cast member did offer me a rewrite if I wanted to, which I declined because, you know, I was just by myself. The picture wasn't that important, but, you know, it was still, you know, something that I just would have liked to save and maybe post it on, post on social media or whatever. But, yeah, it happens. So, if you are, you know, looking forward to getting your picture and someone throws up a gang sign or something, then more than likely the cast member will offer you a rewrite. Go ahead and take it, and then you can get your picture afterwards. So, it happens. What are you going to do? So um, let's uh, let's check out Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty uh, interesting. They're doing a cha cha slide over there. They got the DJ. If I can figure out where, there we go. We got the DJ over here. We got Cruiser Mirrors over here. We got uh, we got a lot going on. I wonder how long it is until the next presentation. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to looking forward to seeing what this thing has to offer. <laughs>
that show was definitely uh, interesting. It wasn't it wasn't terrible, but I mean like it's just one of those shows that's just meant to eat people up for a little while, you know? It's a it's a higher capacity theater. It's not you know super high capacity theater, but it can hold quite a few people, and you know it does its job. It eats people up for a little while and keeps them there. Just gives them something to do. Um, it's mildly entertaining. Um, it's mostly meant for the kids. Uh, pretty cool. The animatronic is fantastic. I love the Lightning McQueen animatronic. It looks really good and it works really well. It just it just looks good. It's a, it's a really cool animatronic that I'll give Disney props for. It's really cool what they do with Lightning McQueen. But other than that, eh, probably not going to do it again. I have no reason to visit that side of Rock and Roller Coaster. Probably not going to see that again for a little while unless I'm really bored. All right, so just a little update on the 30th anniversary merchandise. My prediction came true. Uh, they just did a little sooner. Um, they're already having the 30th anniversary merchandise in some of the other stores. They got the service tumblers, the hats. They got some of the ornaments, 30th anniversary ornaments. And a whole rack of shirts over here, right on Sunset Boulevard. So that's awesome. So, unless the only thing you were looking for this morning was a 30th anniversary magic band and or a 30th anniversary pin, then you didn't have to wait in that two hour line. So that's awesome. All the, all the merchandise that they have is already out and about in the rest of the park. You didn't have to wait in that two hour line. Only sold out of two things. So that's cool. And I did hear that they are trying to find more pins. They know they have them somewhere. They're just you know, working to bring them out. So um, they should have some more pins available very, very soon. So that's awesome. I love that they learned from uh, Animal Kingdom and from Epcot and the absolute insanity that was that anniversary event with the merchandise and they just overstocked everything. It's perfect. And now, here is Jonas as Disney's Hollywood Studios proudly presents the wonderful world of animation. cast member is getting swarmed with people right now wanting to get posters everyone's wanting to get a poster this is not going well it is creating such a backup of people in the park who are trying to get out this is absolutely madness I don't think 
Disney planned on this. All these cast members, oh, I'm sorry. All these cast members who are trying to hand out posters and all these people who are trying to collect posters. <laughs> So finally got my hands on the poster. It actually has the new Hollywood Studios logo on it too. I didn't notice that earlier. But yeah, uh, it is just absolute madness right now. Everyone's looking for cast members that are handing out posters. It is crazy. All right, so it looks like they just weren't prepared for the initial rush of people that were coming out of the park when that, when that show ended. But, my man, these poor cast members, they just got swarmed with people who were, who were leaving. Alright, well, that was absolutely insane. That was a very, very crazy day. It's been a hot minute since I've done park open to park close uh, at, a, at, a, at a park. And um, I think the last time I did it was for the Epcot 35th, actually, when I stayed park open and park close. Typically, I stay in the parks for a few hours and then I go home, but... I was at Hollywood Studios from park open to park close. Even before that, the park doesn't, didn't officially open until 9. But they started letting people in at 7.30 and I got there at 8. So I had my spot for that parade and everything at 8 o'clock. So that was that was insane. It is uh, 9.38 right now. Uh, there's an uh, uh, after hours party going on right now. They're still doing the Star Wars fireworks. But um, wow. That was an absolutely insane day. That was a very insane day. Um, overall though, it went pretty smoothly. Um, every Everything at the very beginning of the day with the presentation and the cavalcade, that went smoothly. Um, you know, when they let everybody bum rush the stage, that was the little bit of a cluster, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, the worst part of the day was, oh my gosh, rest in peace, those poor cast members. Um, they weren't, they obviously were not expecting that kind of rush exiting the park after the, um, the animation show. I forget the name off the top of my head. I'll put it down here, the name of the show, but, um, they weren't expecting that kind of a rush, I'm assuming. And they only had like four cast members out initially who were handing out the, the posters and, they they just got bum rushed and it was like a feeding frenzy just everybody crowding around and you saw in the video like that was just the one cast member and just surrounded 360 just full of people all with their hands out you know like i hate to compare it to this but have you ever you know seen videos of people <clears throat> of countries that like get hit with a natural disaster or something and like people are delivering aid and like food to the pe to the country and you see all the people with their hands out you know trying to get whatever is being handed out like that's the only thing that i could compare it to is just people just reaching out and trying to take the posters out of this poor guy's hands he's got a stack of them in his arm and he's trying to hand them out one by one people are trying to grab multiple and he's saying, I can only hand out one, I can only hand out one, and people are just pestering him, pestering him. And he tries to hand a poster to one person, and someone tries to take it, and it, oh my god, it was just insane. I mean, thankfully, after the rush was over, you know, they had more cast members standing out there handing out posters, but initially it was you know one per person but it got to the point where the cast members were just like screw it just 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 take it just take it you want one here take one you want one take one so we were everyone was going around cast member to cast member just grabbing of uh, multiple posters um and you know i wasn't seeking cast members you know as i passed cast members i had posters you know they're like hey you want one yeah sure whatever i'll take one i wasn't bum rushing cast members and pestering them and asking like or like telling them give me a poster give me a poster you know like you know i had my posters full visibility and made sure that they knew that i had posters like they knew i had posters and they still handed me one so i was like okay all in all i walked out with five posters five posters 
I collected a couple maps throughout the day because they had them like not only at the front of the park but also at um, in different locations throughout the park the commemorative maps so I think I have six of those three buttons and I think that's it and I also walked out with uh, with some with some um, merchandise for myself so yeah that was an absolutely insane day I know this video is going upwards of 40 possibly 50 minutes long it's gonna be a long video this is gonna be so much fun to edit in both a bad way and a good way but it's gonna be it'll be fun um, we stayed at Epcot and we did a lot. We did a lot. A lot of things that I normally don't do when I come to Epcot, or Epcot, Hollywood Studios. When I come to Hollywood Studios, you know, I do a couple things and then I leave. So, all in all, it was a very great day. Um, something that I wanted to do is, you know, because this video is so long, I just want to, you know, get a feel for how many people actually watch the entire video and how many people actually get to the end so if you guys are watching this uh, first of all I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this entire video and just me goofing off and just being weird in a theme park um, like I said before I've been trying to stay away from Disney because it's so oversaturated but something like this you know I had to come and you know share the experience with you guys because who knows what was gonna happen if it was anything like the Epcot 35th then it was just gonna be a hot mess that I wanted to see but it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a day so uh, you guys made it to this far of the video thank you guys so much um, let me know if you guys made it to this far in the video and just uh, leave a comment down below um, what do I want you guys to say um, just put a Take a couple seconds and put down where you where you guys are watching from. Um, whether you're in the United States or somewhere uh, abroad, uh, let me know if you're in the United States, what state you're from or what city. And then if you're overseas, let me know what country you're from. And I really want to know. So yeah, just leave that comment down below where you're from and I'll know exactly more or less how many people actually make it to the end of the video. So yeah, that was an absolutely insane day. Hollywood Studios, 30th anniversary, May 1st, 2019. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a, it, was, it was a fun day. But with that, I'm going to go home and edit a couple of these videos and then sleep. So with that, I am off and I will see you guys in the next video. Ooh, look, fireworks over there in the background. Ooh.